Just finished up day one session of meditation down by this nice little babbling brook here. Uh, 12 minutes. Could have probably gone longer, but uh, I have a little meditation app on my phone that I use, and it timed out after 12 minutes, and I was like, you know, let's, let's just end it here. This is good. But uh, I found that uh, the app does help to some degree, especially if you have a smartphone and you're easily distracted. Um, you can download a meditation app. Most of them are free. They have guided ones that are maybe a dollar or two dollars. And they'll set a timer for you and block out all incoming calls, texts, Facebook messages, notifications, any of that stuff. And uh, I find it really helpful because I don't really use a timer other than my phone. So if you're thinking about getting into meditation, I would... Uh, advise you to get an app from your phone and probably in thinking about it smartphones are one of the biggest distractions they're something there to always occupy you can always check your facebook or your instagram or your twitter or your email or your text messages there's always something new there's always a new distraction to keep you away from the present moment and, and reality and so i have a love-hate relationships with smartphones been trying to be more diligent about proper use of mine and not letting it waste my time and distract me and keep me away from real reality and living life. So that was day one. That's two days in a row for me. Nothing particularly uh, profound happened this time, but it uh, feels good to be building the streak. And uh, catch you guys later.